Spend any time with a rancher and you quickly discover it's a lifestyle that they love, and that includes protecting the environment. For Bud Adams, that means keeping his Florida ranch in pristine condition for future generations. It's sun up and saddle up on this early spring morning. The cowboys of Adams Ranch are ready for another roundup. All right, here we go. These are Florida cowboys. No vast open plains of the American West here. This range is dotted with palm trees, swampy ponds, and thickets of grasses and trees. And here at Adams Ranch near Fort Pierce, the wildlife and the 50,000 acres of preserved landscape make for a picture-perfect scene. A scene not lost on the ranch's owner, Bud Adams. Visit the ranch and you'll likely find him with a camera in his hand. I'm out here checking on the cattle. I to see that they have water, grass, and mineral. And uh, uh, invariably, you see a lot of interesting things. You know, I was given an Argus 35 millimeter camera uh, in 1936, I think. <laughs> a few years ago. That's a long time. <laughs> Over the decades, Bud's captured hundreds of images of life on the ranch. Well, um, I started working here um, 10 years old, so this is the 72nd year I've worked here. Back in those days, we had a uh, cross-state cattle drive, and we would have a bed roll and sleep on the ground. It was a hard life, but it was a good life. His father bought this land in 1937. Ten years later, they had 1,600 head of cattle. Now it's 10,000. And throughout the years, Bud Adams has been there to create a visual record, first on film and now with his digital camera. Bud's photos have ended up in books and various publications. Although you're a photographer and you're pretty good at it, you see yourself as a cattle rancher, right? That's your that's, that's your what I do. Huh? I, I, I raise cattle. I'm a cowman. That's your passion. Oh yeah. <laughs> that passion carries on to the next generation of the Adams family. Bud's sons manage various areas of the ranching operation. And uh, these boys. Well, they start when they're 10 or 11 years old, and now they're in their mid-20s. Why, they're as good as anybody. I, I, and you said these boys. I think I, I think I might have seen a girl out there too this morning, right? Yes, yes. Uh, we're equal opportunity. <laughs> Bud points out that the beautiful ecology here is no accident. It's a balance of nature that has been managed by his family for decades. I'm sure you've had developers knocking on your door here for some, some to put some homes here. That is a tremendous problem with higher land values and a growing population. It will be very difficult to pass this on to the next generation. What Bud captures here through his lens are more than pretty pictures. He's documenting a way of life and a heritage that has roots deeper than the palm trees that grow on this sandy soil. We understand that this is a holistic enterprise in that we have to consider the grass, the trees, the cattle, the wildlife, the water, and, uh, and our climate. The important part of this is your animal agriculture uh, provides a sustainable program. Mm -hmm. 